subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Malayan Tiger. Hero, where are you, Hero? <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, Hero. Let's see who's stronger. I challenge you to a game of tug of war. <laughs> you take this end of the rope, and I'll take this end. The first one to pull the flag past their line wins. Ready, Hero? And go! Not bad, Hero, but I'm not gonna lose. <gasps> what? Ow! <laughs> What are you? Are you some kind of cat? Those are some beautiful stripes on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, kitty. Hi, Katie. Did you find more information about the cub? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cub you found is a Malayan tiger. A Malayan tiger? Does that mean it comes from Malaysia? That's right. To be specific, Malayan tigers come from the forests of the Malayan Peninsula in Southeast Asia. But they can also be found in Southern Thailand. I see. So what do Malayan tigers eat? Like all tigers, Malayan tigers are meat eaters. They usually feed on deer, wild boar, and sun bears. But when there isn't enough food, Malayan tigers sometimes attack people and farm animals. Because of this, many tigers are illegally hunted by people. Tigers are also hunted for their body parts, like their skin. This illegal hunting is the reason why Malayan tigers are critically endangered. That means Malayan tigers are very in danger of disappearing forever. Ever. There are only about 250 Malayan tigers left in the wild. Oh no! We should protect Malayan tigers so they'll still be around in the future. You're right, Leo. But a tiger cub needs to be with its mother so it can learn how to hunt and get milk to grow. Only its mother can protect the tiger cub. Then let's bring the tiger cub back to its mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Here. Hmm. I don't think it's safe for us to look for the cub's mother in the tall grass. We won't be able to see her coming. What if we look for the cub's mother from up there? Good idea, Katie. Come on, everybody. Let's fly. Tiger cub! Oh, no! The tiger cub jumped into the tall grass. We have to find it. Where did the cub go? Leo, could the tiger cub be in there? Or maybe it's over there. The tiger cub might be in one of the grass patches. But we can't go into the grass to check. There might be predators in there. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll use this. Great idea, Leo. Let me try it. Tiger cub. I got you, little one. We did it. We found the tiger cub's mother. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Malayan tiger.
tiger cub in our garden. We learned that Malayan tigers are endangered and that tiger cubs need their mother to be protected. So we went to the forest and brought the tiger cub back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Asian palm civet. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh. You're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet? So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible. Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Oh no, come back, Civet It's going to another plantation We better go after it Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea Ugh, This place smells the smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm. We can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There! On the ground! That's not our civet! It's a wild boar! Poor boar. I don't think it deserved that. There you are. You got us worried. Great. We found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the jeep. We did it. We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone.
found an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian Peacock. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy. Hero, leave that bird alone. <coughs> Be nice, Hero. You're much bigger than that bird. Hey, look. The bird dropped a feather. Feathers are important because they help birds fly, keep them warm, and hide them from predators. You found another feather, Hero. It must be from another bird. Look, it has a different color. Let's see if we can find more feathers. What is it, Hero? You found another feather? Wow, is that a feather? It looks so different from the other feathers. It's so big and it's so colorful. What was that? Wow, it's a big and beautiful bird. I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Wow, look at those feathers. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. So, the bird you found is... It's an Indian peacock, also known as a blue peacock. Well, it definitely is blue. And it's called an Indian peacock because it comes from India? That's right. It's usually found in the rainforests of India and Sri Lanka. Peacocks eat seeds, fruits, insects, and even small animals like lizards and snakes. What else did you find out, Katie? Actually, a peacock is a male, like the one you found, and a female is called a peahen. The peacocks, or males, are more colorful and have bigger tail feathers. The peahens, or females, have more dull-looking colors. Both the male and female are called a peafowl. So it's an Indian peafowl. Correct. Not all peafowls are blue, though. Some are born with white feathers. And peafowls are one of the largest flying birds in the world. Such an interesting bird. I don't think it belongs in our garden. We should bring the peacock back to its friends. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. With the Jeep, we should get there in no time. What is it, Hero? Leo, it looks like some big cats are following us. They could be jungle cats, Katie. It says jungle cats are one of the peacock's predators. This means jungle cats hunt peacocks for food. Don't worry, Katie. We're safe in the Jeep. Oh, no. It looks like we have a flat tire. Can we change it? There's no time. Those jungle cats are too close. Quick, let's start walking. <laughs> Too many! <coughs> the peacock scared the jungle cats away by making itself look big. Good work, peacock! <coughs> oh, we did it! We found a group of peahens. We 
found an Indian peacock in our garden. We learned that peacocks are male peafowls. They have big tail feathers to impress the females, which are called peahens. So we went to the rainforest and found a group of peahens for the peacock. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The smooth-coated otter. Hero, over here, buddy. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great. Let's see who can jump the highest on this trampoline. I'll show you. All you have to do is jump as high as you can, like this. Ta-da! Now it's your turn, Hero. <laughs> Very good, Hero. Baby Otter. <laughs> I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. <laughs> Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the adder as we speak. There you go. This little one is a smooth-coated adder. So, it has a smooth coat? Yes, that's exactly how it gets its name. A smooth-coated adder is a type of adder that has shorter and smoother fur. They also have a rounder head and a hairless nose that looks quite like the shape of a diamond. Where do they come from? Smooth-coated otters live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Cool! I wonder what kind of food it eats. Smooth-coated otters usually eat plenty of fish, but it's an omnivore, which means it can eat different types of plants and small animals, too. Hmm. I'm afraid it won't find all that food here. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby otter would love that. See you downstairs. Like the only way to get to that river is to cross this one. No problem. Come on, everyone. Thanks, Leo. Now we can get to the other side in no time. Find your family very soon. Look, we're getting closer. <coughs> What's the matter, Hero? Oh no, the little guy's in danger. We have to save it from those crocodiles. They're still chasing us. We'll have to go faster. 
Leave it to me. Chasing us anymore. Excellent. <laughs> we did it. We found the baby otter's family. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! Today, we found a baby smooth-coated otter in our garden. We learned that the smooth-coated otter lives in places with lots of fresh water and greenery. So we went to a river by the forest and found its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Dawn Bat. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, buddy. Look, it's starting to bloom. It's beautiful. Now I will draw it. Look, Hero, my very first drawing of a night-blooming plant, the water lily. Oh, night-blooming plants are plants with flowers that open only at night. Let's look for more night-blooming plants to draw. Hmm, what's that over there? Come on, everybody, let's have a look. That's not a plant, it's a bat. I wonder what kind of bat this is. Do you think it wants to drink our blood? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, what kind of bat is it? Hi, Leo. The bat you found is a dawn bat, which is also known as the cave nectar bat. It drinks nectar, not blood. And nectar is the sugary liquid found in plants, right? That's right. But this bat prefers nectar from night-blooming flowers. It also feeds on pollen. That's the powdery stuff on flowers. When these flowers bloom, they have a very strong smell that attracts the bats. But why was that bat behaving so strange earlier? Dawn bats are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. You must have frightened it with the flash when you took the photo. Oh no, I'll make sure to switch off the flash next time. Where does it come from? Dawn bats live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Should we return it to its home? There aren't enough dark places for it to rest here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the bat would love that. Let's go. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Wait, come back Where are you going, little bat? Which way did it go? It was too fast to see Katie, take the wheel I'll search for the bat with my sound detector While you drive Good idea, Leo Now let's see it's this way. Turn here, Katie. Can you see anything? No, but... It smells weird here. Hmm. I find it quite nice. It's coming from there. Lead the way, hero. Ugh. The smell is getting stronger. It's the dawn bat. It must have been hungry. Look, it's feeding from that flower. Hey, is that a night-blooming plant? 
This flower is part of the durian tree. And you're right, Leo. The flowers blossom only at night. Are you ready to join us, Don Bat? Careful, Leo. See those sharp, spiky things up there? Those are durian fruits. When the durians are ripe, they fall down, so don't stand too close. Thanks for the warning, Katie. Look, both the fireflies and the bats feed from the flowers on the trees. Goodbye, little Dawn Bat. We did it. We found the Dawn Bat's home. Great work, everyone. Today, we found a Dawn Bat in our garden. We learned that the Dawn Bat feeds on night-blooming flowers and lives in caves in large groups. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.